Hey, it's MK Silver Sax, and I'm back with some Forza Horizon 3. Yes, I know I have Forza Horizon 4. But uh, at the same time, this stream is much better. And, uh, well, it's still a good game. So, it's time to hit the road. Hey, Chief. It's Fortsathon. Hey, Keep Melvin. How's it going? To see what the challenges. What are the challenges? Complete ten speed boost or airborne pass. Airborne pass skills. Interesting. So that means I have to pass somebody while being airborne. Ah. Huh. Okay. Not much that I want at the moment. Let's see what I have in the message center. I have my reward. All right, very cool. And I have gifted money. Money is always a good thing. By the way, for those of you just joining, don't forget that uh, there is a giveaway going on for Wreckfest. Hey, Joshua, thanks for joining. Oh, I agree. It's it's a good game, and uh, yeah, two and three are relevant, you know? They uh, gotta, gotta keep on showing them some love, man, because they're still good games. Got this now. Oh, really cool. All right, I'll collect it. B12 Zagato. Sure, why not? Go ahead and give it to me. Oh, I guess they'll just give me uh, 30,000 credits. Hey, Bustington, how's it going? And there we go, with 20,000. All right. Gondmond? Zar this week. Supposed to be good morning or something, or I don't know. Not so sure. Oh, I'm doing pretty well, thanks. Hey, Chief. I've identified another potential recruit for your lineup. It's time to race a race. Where should I race the race? Rail. There's a little bit of off-road going on there. Oh, interesting. But it's mainly on pavement, so I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that. In fact, let's go ahead and make it a championship with, uh, oh, I don't know. Porsches. Yeah. We'll do that. Time for another Horizon I am racing with manual of clutch. What you've got. Absolutely. When the car calls for it. Now, if the car is paddle shift, I will actually switch it in the options of the game to paddle shift. Like, whatever the car is, I want to do that with it. So, in this case, I'm going to be clutching and shifting with the H-shifter. So, that is going to happen.
Holy cow. Ew. Slide on the inside. There we go. That's some forts a turning for me. And for you. I don't know what that spider was doing there. Let me go ahead and make a couple more passes here. Just as long as the Panamera doesn't pinch me out of the, uh, pavement. How's that for alliteration, huh? There we go. First win in the bag. I would say that that car is sufficiently fast. I mean, it doesn't have as much power as a 911, but uh, I'll take it. Forzathon, December 8th? What? December 8th? What? I'm gonna get wheel spins. Okay, sure. Why not? I'm not going to not take the wheel spins. Yay, get another Ford Focus ST. Oh, that Cooper could have been fun. Oh, well, I made, got some money, so I'm okay with that. Back up to 12 million in the bank. You're about to go to school. Good. School is good. All right. Uh, oh, that is... That one's totally off-road. Now, this one is... Okay. I go ahead and warp here. And, uh... Ah, uh, gee, I don't know. Maybe I'll, um... I'm not gonna stick with this, though. But I would like something all-wheel drive. Oh, the... Panamera Turbo. Now with this, I will switch over to Paddle Shift because I believe in this game it is Paddle Shift. For this car. So... I'm going to do that. Interesting. It stopped raining. I'm okay with that. Okay, so difficulty. Now I'm just going to go manual. Yeah, let's go ahead and start the race with that. All right. Well, 
what do we have in front of us? What is that? Is that another... Hey, Blood Digger, what's up? Thanks for joining. Oh yeah, it's super smooth. <laughs> I mean, it does help that it's all-wheel drive, and it's kind of toned back. I mean, yes, it does have, have 500 horsepower, but it's also a pretty heavy car. So... Between that, yeah. You guys don't forget about the giveaway giveaway closes tomorrow uh or later on tomorrow and then the winner will be announced on sunday oh well, yep that will happen All right, setting up event. We're going to continue championship, but I'm going to use something a little different. I'm going to go ahead and use the 911 Turbo S. I believe. Uh, Cayenne Turbo is okay. 959 is fine, but I don't want to drive that right now. So we're going to go with the 911 Turbo S. Which is funny, because that is... The GT4 has so much less horsepower. It's 385, 309, and that thing is 560 and 553. Holy cow. But then again, this is 3,800 pounds. That's 3,800 pounds. What? I would just assume the Cayman GT4 would not have the performance rating that the 911 Turbo S would. But, you know, what do I know? Maybe it has better handling. Because of its platform, uh, mid you know the Cayman uh, GT4 and the GTS uh, are both mid mid engine rear drive, and then the uh, 911s are rear engine. Uh, well, Blood Digger, I actually played uh, Forza Seven last night, so if you're interested, please take a look at that video. Ooh, 
Rainbow. Yes. Put the pressure on him. Try not to bump. Yeah, me too. I, uh, I prefer them. Um, although, some of the simulation games that I've played within the last few years are kind of hit or, hit or miss when it comes to, uh, you know, my... I don't know. My favoritism towards them. For example, Project Cars, I thought was going to be good, and it was, uh, it was mediocre at best. Now, don't get me wrong, the damage model, or not the damage model, well, kind of the damage model, but the, uh, the car models and the physics, I liked in Project Cars, but, I don't know, I kind of felt like, uh, the game was a little bit... Unbaked. I don't know. Josh F. 989. Just followed on Twitch. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. By the way, don't forget. There's a giveaway on my YouTube channel. Make sure that you uh, check out the details for that giveaway. It is for a copy of the game Wreckfest for PC. Which, albeit not a simulator, but uh, super fun. Soft body, uh, soft body car physics and crashes and all that other good stuff. If you like demolition, then uh, perhaps that is for you. If not, well, maybe one of your friends would like it. So let them know about the channel and have them check out the video and the giveaway and all that other good stuff. This thing was really tail happy earlier in the rain, so I'm gonna just kind of cool it when it comes to smashing the accelerator. I'm only, I'm like basically using 75% throttle at uh, most times because if I floor it, this thing would go sideways. I know it would because I've had it sideways. And that'd be okay for drifting, but that's not the point of this. go another first place all right as it's just pouring rain nice nice so uh do you own a mustang of course you sort of talk about mustang parts uh if so which one like what what year what model because uh, I love all cars. Well, mostly all cars. There are a few out there that I'm kind of going, yeah, maybe. Okay. I think it's time to go with a different car. Continuing the championship, but... Ah, I don't know what I want to use. Maybe... Maybe an S2. You know, I don't think I've used this one before. Uh, it might be paddle shift, it might not be. I'm, 
I'm thinking it probably is, considering it's a touring car. Most modern touring cars are... Uh, just bought a 95 GT with the 5.0. Oh, <laughs> nice. It's a good one. A good one. Uh, I think Street Race Dave had a 93. Uh, now, you have a GT. Is it the uh, LX convertible or is it the uh, hardtop? Oh, really? Neat. I guess it's time for me to find out whether or not this paddle shift. It is. Hard top? Okay, nice. They shouldn't have bumped me. I stayed in my part. How is that thing moving that fast? That's unreal. Come on, move. Holy cow, I almost lost control of the car there. That would have been really bad. But it wasn't. think so, buddy. That thing is not going to win against me. Some sort of Frankenstein version of that car. Whatever the heck they did with it. Got a little bit of damage on it. Not too bad, though. I like the handling of this. Okay. Cars go to the festival. Let's see. There we go. Obra R. I'm going to go ahead and race this for you, Josh F989.
Go ahead and throw this into. Hmm. But first, can I open? The, does it? It doesn't allow me to open the hood and see the, f the engine. That's not cool. I go to settings. We are going to go to difficulty and change that to manual with clutch. Hmm. Where to race it? There would be a place to race it. Oh, I know. <laughs> I was kidding around. I knew exactly where I wanted to take it. We're going to take it around the figure eight. And we are going to slam down a lap time. But before we do that, progress, skill shop, and pull rank. Because I want to start at the front, not because I want to win, it's because I don't want to be um, having to fight the other cars while I'm trying to lay down some lap times. So, that is going to happen. NASCAR. Uh, no. Three laps should, should be enough to uh, get the main idea here. What else? What was I going to do? Oh yeah, you know what? I was also going to make sure that we had the damage entire... Yep, that's already on. We're good. Starting race. Although, I think traction control should be off because I don't think this car actually had traction control. I got a 116 3 for the first lap. Oh, 
Oh. It's got some bouncy suspension. A lot of body roll. Significant amount of nosedive, but you know what? It's not too bad. You got a decent engine note, but uh, then again, it could just be a... a stock sound sample because it sounds a lot like quite a, quite a few of the other V8s in this game. And I think that they don't have a... I really don't think there's a separate sound for a lot of the... Uh, for several of the engines in this game. Okay, so the fastest so far is a 112 and a half. I think I could probably beat that and get a 112 even. This lap seems much cleaner. So far? Huh. Maybe not. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven. All right. Got a one eleven and a half. Not too bad. Don't think I could do too much better than that, though. I, I kind of felt like I was I was really pushing the car to its limits as far as uh, how it wanted to stick to the ground. But I'm, I'm sure with better tires, it would be it would be a different case. I've leveled up. I will spin for a prize. Thank you very much. I'll take it. Uh, setting difficulty. I don't think it has traction control, to, to be honest with you. yards bare left keep left you have arrived at your destination
I was going to try to get a cool picture there. I guess that's a negatory. Hmm. Oh well. If you want something later, let me know. I can make a cool picture and uh, send it your direction or put it up on uh, on the Forza Hub. Uh, what else? I don't know what else to do. See, power, 300 horsepower, torque, 365 foot-pounds. Weight, 3,200 pounds. Not bad. Good power-to-weight ratio. Class B607. Now, the question is... How's the 93 compared to that? Oh, why did I... I just totally passed up Ford, didn't I? Okay, we've got the... Oh yeah, that is my new car, isn't it? Huh, I'll have to check it out later. Front wheel drive, though. This one, 235 and 280. Class C. Then you get this one, the two, the 2000. With significantly more power and torque. Huh. Okay then. I'm not allowed to open up the the hood. Focus ST. That is uh, true manual transmission. All right. I'll give it a try. Traction control on, manual clutch. We're good. Nailed it. We'll go there. Oh, we got some more viewers joining. Thank you very much for checking out the channel, watching. Feel free to say hi in the live chat. As always, it's a friendly place to be here. See what it has me up against. Just trying this out since I won it. See if it's a worthy car.
Oh, I think that older car didn't have the, uh, the gearing to go any faster. What? You've got to be kidding me. I was counter-steering that whole time. Uh, restart. That's one of the things I don't like about this game, is that the counter-steering is not, is not truly functional. Because the way I was counter-steering that car should have corrected it just fine. Trust me when I say I know how cars feel and that did not feel like a car. That felt like me fighting whatever the uh, computer or AI decided wanted to happen. Yet, I'm gonna go ahead and shift. Really? Fifth gear is not much taller than fourth. Is there a sixth? There is. It's so weird. Fifth and fourth are so close together. That doesn't seem right. What the? Maybe it's just because the the pavement's wet, but I don't know. I thought I'd be a little bit more impressed with this car. I guess I'd, I like the other one better, the newer one, because I think this is the, is this the previous generation? Yeah, I think this is the previous generation. Hey, BRS, how's it going? Yeah, it's a 2013. I was not impressed.
Now, out of curiosity, let's take a look at cars. My cars. What does this thing have? 247 horsepower, 265 foot-pound of torque. It's sitting just underneath 3,000 pounds. And it's got a 2-liter, I'm assuming, turbo. Um... That's much different than this guy. 350, 350. I mean, this thing is... Things in another class. What's the latest car I've tuned? I don't even know. Probably... My ZL1 slash 1LE in Forza Horizon 4. We're going to try that again. I'd like to try that with... With the other one. I'm passing it. For more performance? Right. I mean, the ZL1 1LE, probably. I mean, it, I didn't uh, upgrade the engine because you're, you're taking the ZL1 and, and uh, basically adding tires and an aero package and a weight reduction, but it's still performance-based. It, it changes the car. So yeah, that's probably the last one I did. I can't remember, though, to tell you the truth. God, this thing jumps alive. This is completely different. Night and day difference. This thing is I like this. Oh, of course it does. All wheel drive and 350 horsepower and 350 torque. Yeah, it is. Now, my question is, okay, so 350 horsepower and 350 torque. Why doesn't the Mustang have, the EcoBoost Mustang have this engine in it? Because it's, it's uh, using a lot less horsepower and torque, I think. It's not sitting at 350 for the four-cylinder. I mean, it uses a variation of this engine, but I think, uh, I think the Mustangs is, what, 300 horsepower and, like, 320-something for torque, or I can't remember what the EcoBoost Mustang had, but I don't think it had the numbers that are on the, uh, Focus ST.
Yeah, that car was so much better. I completed it in like three seconds faster than the other one, too. That's like a... It's clearly in a different class. Okay. And before I leave, I'm going to do a Goliath right now. And maybe do a Goliath with um touring cars. Kind of to continue on with my touring car uh Whatever I'm doing lately, one lap. Okay. Yes, one lap. Not Audi. Bentley. BMW. Actually, I'm going to go back. Let me go to a festival site first before I... Hey, Z97, how's it going? I'm doing well. How about you? Garage. Maybe I should just go auto show. View all. Um... Sort by class. Go S2. Dream track toys, I guess, would be. I have that. That's a consideration. Nine Eleven GT Three RS. That's another consideration as well. Huh? <clears throat> Do I have that? No, I don't have that one. You doing better? Nice. Good. S. Martin uh, Vantage GT12. And it goes down from there. I mean, we're, we're just into the S1s now. So, and have been for quite some time. All right, let's go back to the S2. I guess I'm gonna have to do some more uh, Forza Motorsport 7 in a few hours. Um, I'm gonna do one more race here, but then I'm gonna sign off and...
Yeah, I guess I'll go with the uh, C7R. Um, yeah, you know, I was thinking about that. The Aston Martin. Actually, I was thinking about the Bentley, too. S2 for the Bentley, and then the C7R is an S2 954. Sort by class. Got the 911 GT3 RS, too. I don't know. But. Got the Vulcan. But it's a hypercar. I, I kind of want something that. Uh, So yeah, the Aston Martin might be a good handling car, but it's also an S1. I don't know, I'm kind of thinking about going back with the, uh, the Porsche. But no, you know what, I'm going to do the, uh, the vet. Funny thing is, it's only, only got 491 horsepower. I sh shouldn't say only, but considering all the other... I mean, look at the weight. 2,700 pounds. That thing's going to be insane. Looks insane. Difficulty. We're going to have traction on. Yes, please. Manual. Amateur tire simulation. Did I do that right? Yep. And it's time to do a Goliath. Exhibition. One lap. Track toy. Uh, from what I remember, this is not the fastest car, but it's quick. There's a difference between fast and quick. Don't forget that. Fast is the top speed, and quick, how quickly it gets to its top speed. It apparently also doesn't like sand because it's on racing slicks. Luckily, 99% of this track is going to be paved. But where it counts at the beginning and at the end, not. So I'm just uh, not looking forward to the end of this race at all. Okay, now I'm in my element. What are we gonna do now? Check, are you kidding me? I missed a checkpoint? When did I, did I? I'm gonna have to restart. Luckily it was at the beginning of the race. So I can do that. Maybe I can actually get a better start now. Uh. Come on, quit turning to the right. It's amazing how many cars are faster than me on the sand. 
It's as if this car wasn't meant to be driven on sand or dirt. Hmm. Who'da thunk it? I'm okay with that. Really? Oh, I went on the outside of that one. Hey, the turns are where I'm going to cook these guys. What, you don't have five feet wide racing slicks on? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just going to pass you up now. Again, not the most powerful car out here. I probably one of the least powerful, but man, can this thing handle? Tell you what, if you want to race in a race and be able to take turns, don't go for whatever the most powerful car is. Go for this thing. The athleticism completely outweighs the brute force. So then at the same time, straightaways are not going to be my friend because then all the other cars that are more powerful are going to be able to pass, hence what just happened there. But then, then I get them on the turns just like this. I'm able to keep up. I think that's a track pack of something as well, so there could be some danger in what's going on right now. Oh well, I'll just try to stay on his butt as much as possible. There we go. How you like those turns? I like them. Don't you? No seventh gear. Well, I'm pinned. I'll play a little bit defensive here. Not too much. I can go for a cup of coffee about now. Anyone want to bring me one? That would be delicious. This car can use some pumpkin spice high octane fuel. Well, thanks, Blood Digger. Well, as we were talking earlier, I'm I'm into the simulation stuff as well. So, uh, the 
power of the saxophone. Ooh, somebody give me coffee. I saw that Lamborghini. You went off the road, too. Let's not judge each other, and uh, also, let's not tell the rest of the pack which has happened there, right? Yeah? Huh? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. Alright, go ahead and pass. I don't care. Go. Do it. No? You don't want to? Okay. Wow, it's really hard to see out of this windshield. I wish they didn't have the visor on or I wish you could uh, adjust it as necessary. Yeah, Michael was a bad storm. So, I mean, it still is, isn't it? Isn't it still kind of existent over some of the southern U.S. there? No, I'm okay with them passing. The nice thing about them passing is I could draft them. And that's fine. Oh gosh. A little bit of damage. Oh. Like this. And then when they mess up, then I could slingshot past them. Because they will. Corners are not their forte. Just like that. So like right right now, I don't really care because there's going there's two slight corners right here, one right here, and then there's one coming up. And those cars are going to have to slow way down. And of course, this one Now, I usually don't ram <laughs> Give him some paint. There you go. That looks like you're missing a little yellow on that car, huh? So pretty. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and pass. It's all right. It's all right. There we go. All right. Just play with my food before I eat it. There we go. Uh, he had to back way, way far away on that one. Stamped. Okay, maybe now I will employ my blocking techniques. I mean, I'm getting towards the end, but I don't, I don't know, man. 
dangerous. These guys are... This is some brutal uh, competition. These cars are really fast. I'm playing a little bit defensive, but I can't, uh, I can't go out of my way to block because that's where I could get into trouble. That's where I will like end up off the side of the road and, and end up being last place instead of even third, you know? Plus, I've got this nasty sand section that's coming up on the beach, and I know that I'm not going to win this one because my car is going to do horrible on it. I mean, it's just, I, I just know. The other cars are going to easily pass me. So I'm just gonna play it cool. Because I know what this uh, I know what this track is about, man. Well, that's a pleasant surprise. What do you know? <laughs> Rally time. Yeah, no, thank you. Uh, holy cow. So it's not the fastest car, but man, can that thing handle. You want to be able to take turns? Think about that C7R. up one. Well, thank you. Thank you. Masterful display. Yes. I don't know. That's what it told me. Okay, so out of curiosity, what type of lap time can it put down on the figure eight? Because as you know, if you've been watching my Forza Horizon 3 series before, you know that I like to test each car that I th can think about on, uh, on this, on the desert figure eight, just to kind of get an overall lap time comparison. And I'm going to say that this thing is going to get a 59. But, I don't know. We'll have to try it. we go with Melancor's 3 lap. This is why I do that pulling rank thing. Because of all this. All this in front of me. He went inside, so that blocks my way. So I'm gonna go ahead and swing to the outside. Cut inside, hit the inside. Apex to apex. Get on the outside, swing to the inside. Okay, now he's gonna have the horsepower to take it away here. But I'm gonna take him on this first uh, turn one and two-ish chicane here. 
There we go. Like pie. God, the cornering on this thing is nuts. Okay, so first lap was a 101. I wouldn't doubt that I could get a 57 with this thing. This this just feels fast. Uh, don't push it, don't push it, MK. Almost lost control of it there, that would have been bad. That was a 55.7, jeez. I know I'm doing some funky forts attorney here, but uh, I'm just curious what this car can do. Oh, did it just free? I, it just froze. Uh, no, that's not good. Game just froze. All right, well, we know it can do a 55. Oh, well, that stinks. Game froze. Don't know why. Take a look at my, uh, let me take a look at my temps. Everything's looking good. My graphics card is sitting at like 40 degrees Celsius. That's it. My uh, processor, my CPU is only sitting at 51. And that was under load, so... I don't know what that would have been. Anyway, apologies for the black screen that you have right now, but I'm not going to go ahead and restart the game yet. Uh, but I will come back and... Um, and play maybe a little bit of... Forza Motorsport 7 later, so if you guys want to see that, let me know. Um, maybe, a, maybe Project Cars or Assetto Corsa. R write something in the, the live chat or the comment section later. Um, I do want to play something that's racing, and I do want to kind of uh, play... Um, something that's a little bit more along the line of simulator but it doesn't have to be and if you guys really want to see me play some uh, forza horizon 4 later let me know um it's just going to be on a different platform well not platform but it's going to be on um the relive but uh <laughs> z97 who put a bridge and not a crossover in a figure and a figure eight? yeah i know right i want to see some meat some wreck festy meat by the way don't forget giveaway so check the description section below. Yes. <laughs> well, thanks, BRS. Um, yeah, you know what? I might, uh, I might try some Project Cars. I haven't done that in a long time. And, it, you know, it would be cool to see it. Anyway, who knows what I'll stream later, but I will be streaming stuff later. And I will also be streaming some, uh, hopefully some Wreckfest a little bit later as well. Uh, because I think Street Race Dave and a couple other people wanted to play that with me. So, anyway, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Peace out.